大家好 ，Welcome back to Edupedia World Videos. We are now at Lesson Twenty Four, which we will talk about tea culture. So, as I said in the last lesson series, we have learned about eating Beijing roast duck, which is a signature dish in Beijing. After we talked about eating, let's talk about drinking. And in this lesson, we're gonna explore more about Chinese tea, because it is quite a distinct. Drink in China and also all around the world. All right, let's get started. So the dialogue involve a girl called Xiao Ling and Kevin. So they're gonna talk about tea. Xiao Ling first started. She asks, "Do you like drinking tea?" Xiao Ling 问，你喜欢喝茶吗 ？And Kevin answers, "I like it very much. I especially like drinking tea at tea houses." 凯文说：“我非常喜欢，我特别喜欢到茶馆里喝茶。”小林 says, "Me too. We can chat while enjoying Chinese tea culture here." 小林说：“我也是，在这里可以边聊天边欣赏茶文化。” Let's pause the conversation for now and look at the individual. In sentences, as we have some vocabulary we need to learn. So first, let's look at the title. The title is a dialogue between Xiao Ling and Kevin. In Mandarin, it is Xiao Ling and Kai Wen 的对话 So there's only one new word here, which is Ling. Okay, Ling. It is a surname, but it is often used in Chinese girls' name. So in this text, it is more likely that Xiao Ling is her name or nickname, okay, rather than the little plus the family name or surname. This is the Pinyin Ling, and the radical is this one. What's on the left there? So the arrangement is horizontal because you have left and right components. Let's look at how to write Ling. 一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八、九。Nine strokes for this word, Ling. And let's look at the whole sentence. Xiao Ling and Kai Wen's dialogue. Xiao Ling, as I said, it's a name, and Kai Wen is Kevin. Okay, you have learned the individual word before. Kai, as in Kai Te, which is the Chinese translation of Kate, and then Wen, as you know, as you speak about English, you say Ying Wen, so that's the same word, okay. And then 对话 is dialogue, so Xiao Ling and Kai Wen 对话 it means Xiao Ling's and Kevin's dialogue. So let's see. The first sentence of the whole conversation. Xiao Ling first asks, "Do you like drinking tea?" Xiao Ling 问，你喜欢喝茶吗 ？All right. So there are two new words, but the whole sentence should be very really easy for you. So let's look at the new words first. The first new word is 喝 "He" means drink. This is the Pinyin "He." And the radical is this one. What's on the left there? So the arrangement is complex because you have left and right component. For the right component, you have top and bottom components. Let's look at how to write 茶 Let's look at how to write 喝一二三四五六七八九、十、十一、十二。Okay, twelve strokes for this word. He. The next word is 茶 Cha means tea. Okay, and this is the Pinyin 茶 And the radical is this one. What's on top there? The arrangement is vertical because you have top, middle, and bottom components. Let's look at how to write 茶一
二三四五六七八九。Okay, nine so, so this word cha. So the whole sentence. 你喜欢喝茶吗 Should be very straightforward. This just to say, you like drinking tea. Okay, and as it ended with ma, it just means that this is a yes or no question. Okay. In English translation, you will translate to, do you like drinking tea? Okay. Let's see what Kevin has to answer. Kevin answers, "I like it very much." In direct translation, it's, 我非常喜欢 You have learned all these words already, so it shouldn't be a problem. So, 非常 is like extraordinary, and then 喜欢 is like. So to say, 我非常喜欢 is that I like very much. And he also continues. By saying, I especially like drinking tea at tea houses. Okay, in Chinese, he says, 我特别喜欢到茶馆里喝茶 Okay, you have learned all the words here again, but then it's just a matter of new usage of the words that you have used. So, one is 特别 Okay. 特别 means special, okay. As I have explained to you previously, 特 means special, but to make it a word to use, we use 特别 which means special, okay. And this is to describe the verb that follows it, which is 喜欢 So in English translation, you would say I. I especially like, okay, and "bie" as you have already learned, it means no. But in this case, it has the meaning of different, okay. So "te bie" is just to mean special, okay. That is different from the others, all right. And then "dao" as in go to somewhere. And then 茶馆 as you learn, 茶 is tea, and then 馆 is what you learn before. It is used in restaurant, which is 餐馆 Okay, 馆 as I said is a word that is related to places. Like you can use it in embassy or some other hospitality buildings. So. Tea houses, they are hospitality locations, so that's why we are using this word as in tea house. Okay, so 茶馆 is tea houses, 里 is in, and then 喝茶 as you have learned just now is drinking tea. Okay, so the whole sentence in direct translation, you can say, I especially like go to. Tea houses, drink tea. Okay, so you're specifically saying that you are going to inside the tea houses and drinking tea. Okay, so 茶馆里喝茶 the whole thing is the action. So you can refer it to as gerant going to. Tea houses drinking tea, and then 到茶馆里 it is to describe that this is the location that's happening. That's why this is placed in front of the verbs drinking tea. Okay, so this is how you can decipher the whole sentence. You break it down to chunks because you are talking about what you like, and then you just want to say drink drinking tea at tea houses. So you just say you are going to tea houses, and in it I drink tea. Okay, and of course you can also say 在茶馆里喝茶 Okay, it is it's just a matter of being 
there or going there. Okay, they all make sense. Okay, so let's see what Xiao Ling has to say next. She says, Me too. And in Mandarin, it's 我也是. Okay, so 我 is I, 也 is also, and then 是 is what to be. Okay, so to say 我也是, it's to say you are also doing that. Okay, the fact that I'm also doing that. Okay, in other words, in English, it's me too. So she went on explaining further, saying, We can chat while enjoying Chinese tea culture here. Okay, in Mandarin, it is 在这里可以边聊天边欣赏茶文化 Okay, quite a few new words here, so let's look at them first. The first one is 聊. 聊 means chat, so it has the similar meaning as in 谈, which you have learned before. And it means to talk about something or chatting over things. And both has the similar meaning as well. Alright. This is the pinyin, liao. And the radical is this one, what's on the left there. So the arrangement is horizontal because you have left and right components. Let's look at how to write liao. E, R. 三, 四, 五, 六, 七, 八, 九, 十, 十一. Eleven strokes for this word, 聊. The next word is 画. 画 means transform, but in this context, it doesn't really have that meaning. So just bear with me for a while. This is the pinyin hua. And the radical is this one. What's on the left there? The arrangement is horizontal because you have left and right components here. Let's look at how to write hua. Yi, er, san, si. Okay, just four strokes for this word, hua. Next is xin. Xin means glad you are happy with something okay this is the pinyin sin and the radical of this one what's on the right there the arrangement is horizontal because you have left and right components this is how to write sin yi er san si wu liu qi ba Okay, eight strokes for this word, xin. The next word is shang. Shang means to reward or to appreciate. Okay, we'll explain how this one is used in this context. Okay, this is the pinyin shang. And the radical is this one, what's at the bottom there. The arrangement is vertical because you have top, middle and bottom components here. Let's look at how to write shang. Yi, er, san, si, wu, liu, qi, ba, jiu, shi, shi yi, shi er. Twelve strokes for this word, shang. Okay, let's decipher the whole thing. So, 在这里 should be straightforward, it means here, okay? And 可以 is can. And then, being over there, I know you have learned this as in side, like this side or that side, left side or right, right side. But being here, it means while, okay? Doing something while doing the other thing. Okay, that the while, which means things are happening 
at the same time. Okay, it acts as a conjunction. 聊天 as I said, it's chat. Okay, it is similar to 谈天 Okay, you can swap this thing, these two words around. Okay, and um, maybe you may be confused that why we are using tian over here, because tian means sky, but it is just to combine with liao as to say chat. Okay, liao tian it means chat. Okay, you may imagine that we are. Chatting about anything, like the most common thing to chat about is, of course, weather, and weather is in the sky. So that's why, to say chatting, we say 聊天 which involve the sky. All right, and another being over here, it is to say. It is to combine with the being that you have encounter. Before, so it acts as a conjunction. Okay, so 边聊天边欣赏 it means to do this thing and also doing that thing. So it acts as conjunction to say that these two actions are happening together. So in English translation, it's while. And then 欣赏 okay, 欣 is glad, 赏 is Reward, appreciate, but 欣赏 together it means appreciate or enjoying something. So you can imagine this is a very、really, uh, relaxed manner that you are sitting down, appreciate things, enjoying what's around you. Okay. And 茶 is tea. 文化 is culture. Okay, that's how we say 文化 It is to use these two words together. One is like words or language which involves civilization. Then 化 is like、uh, transform that you are being transformed by the civilization or language, which mean which means that you have the culture. Okay. So the whole sentence, 在这里可以边聊天边欣赏茶文化 In direct translation is, here can chat while enjoying or appreciating tea culture. Okay, again, in this sentence we have omitted the subject here because it is. Understood that you are talking about us, okay? Of course, if you want to add in we, which is woman, it also makes sense. You can say, 在这里我们可以边聊天边欣赏茶文化 Okay, so this shouldn't be too difficult. It is just to swap things around, like 在这里 here it is. Put in front, okay. We don't put the location at the back because it is a description. It is usually located at the beginning of the sentence or just before the verbs. Okay. So that's the end of the lesson. So you have learned quite a few new words on tea culture. And specifically, you have learned how to say drink and tea. And while you are drinking tea, you can. It is a good time to chat about things and appreciate things about appreciate things around you. So I've also introduced you words like chat, culture, appreciate, and also while. Okay, you do something. While doing the another thing, so that is a new usage of the word that you have learned previously. And finally, you have also learned how to say a surname or a common 
name that Chinese girls use. So you have quite you have learned quite a lot of new usage of words, although the new Chinese words are not that many in this lesson. All right. So next up, we'll continue on the conversations between Xiaoling and. Kevin, because we haven't finished what they have to say, so we'll continue on that. So you learn the many different types of Chinese tea. Okay, so thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. 谢谢，再见。